Hello and welcome to Washington Bosco Media Network. This is Marli Sarambai, bringing you this latest news across the globe. From 1st to 7th of July, a group of 33 educators, selections and lay people working in the different youth ministry settings of the Mary Help of Christians province in Spain SMX completed their formation in selection spirituality in Don Bosco's country organized by the delegation for charism and shared mission. After the experience at Godelleta where the educators were able to approach Don Bosco's life in a theoretical way the group went to the selection places in Piedmont to deepen their understanding of selection spirituality the preventive system and educational pedagogy the pilgrimage began at the Don Bosco's birthplace at the Becchi where the educators were able to get closer to the early years of young John's country life rediscovering the simple life of the bosco family the great importance of mama margaret and father caloso on the second day the group went to cherry to visit the most significant places in don bosco's life during his formative years on the third day the pilgrimage began with a visit to selection turin the day ended at the site of the pinardi house the beginning of what is now valdoco On the fourth and fifth days, the participants were able to learn more about the birth of Don Bosco's work in Valdoco, the evolution of the oratory, the expansion of the congregation, and the construction of the Basilica of Mary Help of Christians. In the last part of the formation, the participants experienced a morning of retreat, culminating with the celebration of the Eucharist in the Church of Saint Francis de Sales. On the 4th July 2023 the Maltese Federation witnessed an incredible gathering of 30 active participants at a special national meeting of past pupils and friends of Don Bosco. The meeting started with the presentations of two GEX members, Marika Aquilina and Ariana Abella, who shared their insights on innovative social and educational projects and activities by the National Federation of Past Pupils of Don Bosco. The flagship projects of Cheglin and Singh were presented as examples of best practice on how the organization can break the stigma around change and emphasize its positive impact especially through showing social commitment and solidarity with the young. Present for this national meeting was the president of the World Confederation Mr Brian Magro who provided updates and shifted the main focus on how we can shape the future of the past pupils and friends of Don Bosco organizations especially on the charism spirituality mission and prospective developments on working with the young one of the key takeaways from the event was the importance of adaptability and responding to signs of the times participants eagerly engaged in thought provoking discussions sharing their experiences and challenges when faced with the prospect of change The supportive environment fostered by the participants allowed everyone to openly express their fears and concerns while receiving encouragement and guidance from the leaders of the National Federation. The final message was given in the traditional good night by the national delegate Father Jake Mamo who spoke about the need to continue our journey of change hand in hand creating the space for everyone in the Salesian family. One Salesian brother and 13 clerical candidates made their perpetual profession during a solemn mass celebrated by Father Guillermo Basañas Provincial of Central Africa AFC. The newly professed include one from the Africa Great Lakes Vice Province AGL, two from the Madagascar Vice Province MDG and 11 from the AFC Province. Before their perpetual profession, the Salesians went through a mini retreat led by missionary Father Piero Gavioli. In addition, under the guidance of Father Jonas Jaff, provincial delegate for Salesian Youth Ministry, many young people who had come to participate in the celebration organized a prayer vi- vigil for Friday, 7th July. Of these 14 Salesians, the clerical candidates are now continuing their training at the St. Francis de Sales Theological Studentate in Lumbubashi, while Salesian brother Mubum Gulod is currently academic secretary and professor of philosophy at the St. John Bosco Institute in Kansabula after having obtained his license at the Pontifical Salesian University in Rome. On 24th June, The Venezuelan provincial VEN celebrated Fidelity Day 2023 in the San Luca Theological Studentate. Father Rafael Montenegro VEN provincial presided over the event during which 
Thanks were given to God for Salatians Johan Castro, Bernardo Ramirez, Humberto Gonzalez, and Alejandro Leon, who celebrated their 25th anniversary of religious profession, and also for Father Jamie Garcia's 50 years of priestly life. The day was attended by a large group of Salatians and young people who animated the celebration which culminated with the Eucharist. The Salatians celebrated had the opportunity to share some words. Father Humberto Gonzalez emphasized in his homely that God calls us to community and gives us brothers to love. Everything is grace and gift from God. For his part, Father Johan Castro emphasized that our fidelity passes through our community life in the witness of witnessing faithful brothers. There we meet to live our mission with quality. Afterwards, Father Bernardo Ramirez invited those present to keep the best of each brother, the reason for their perseverance. Finally, Father Jamie Garcia commented that gratitude springs from the heart and that he found peace and happiness in the affection of the confreres. Father Herminio Jaco Bacci spent the first weekend of July at the Salesian House in Kipoleti, Rio Negro. The aim was to create a meeting space for the entire battalion, working on three main areas, God, Homeland and Home, under the motto, Love what is true, do what is good. On Saturday evening, there was a typical folkloric event with typical dances and music, a fraternal agape and a moment of entertainment, while on Sunday, the young people participated in the Eucharist together with the parish community. So viewers, that is all we have for you today. Until we meet again, thank you for watching.